Amazing, my dear students. Welcome back to our science video lesson. I am your science teacher, Teacher Larry, and welcome to an amazing way of learning science. We are now at quarter two, module two in science seven. In this video lesson, we are going to learn the different levels of biological organization. We are going to explore life from its basic unit, which is the cell, up to the most complex, which is the biosphere. Are you ready to learn? Let us begin! As we all know, biology is a branch of science which deals with the study of life of all organisms on Earth. It is coined from the two Greek words, bios, which means life, and logos, which means study. To understand life, we need to understand it from basic unit to the most complex. Living things exhibit a unique and complex hierarchical organization. This means that living things are highly organized and structured. Living things follow a hierarchy or levels. These are arranged in ascending order or from the lowest to the highest level. That includes cell, tissues, organs, organ system, organism, population, community, ecosystem, and biosphere. These different levels of biological organization are interconnected with each other. The absence of one level may prevent the existence of the other level. This level works hand in hand which makes life possible to exist. Let's start off with a cell. The cell is considered as the fundamental structure of an organism. It is the basic unit of life. It is the smallest unit that can perform all activities associated with life, like growth, reproduction, excretion, and nutrition. We are going to explore in details the cell and their structure in our next lesson. The next level is tissue. A tissue is made up of a group of cells having a common structure and function. Examples of tissue found in human body are connective tissue, epithelial tissue, muscle tissue, and nervous tissue. When this tissue is grouped together, an organ is formed. An organ is a group of tissues of the same structure and adapted to perform a specific function. For example, when nervous tissues are grouped together, an organ is formed, and this organ is the brain. The main function of the brain is to process information in our body. Another example of organ is the heart. The main function of the heart is to pump blood throughout the body. Can you give other organs in your body and their functions? Please comment your answer below. How about plants? Do they have organs? Yes, of course. They also have organs. Observe this picture. What are the different organs of the plant that can you identify? If your answer are roots, stem, leaves, flowers, and fruits, then you are correct. The next level is the organ system. An organ system is a group of organs that works together to perform a specific function. There are 11 organ systems in the body. Can you name these organ systems? Let us take a look to the different organ system in the body. The organ system of the body includes 
integumentary system, cardiovascular system, lymphatic system, digestive system, respiratory system, urinary system, skeletal system, muscular system, nervous system, endocrine system, reproductive system. Study this table to learn more about the different organ systems and their functions. The next level is the organism. An organism is an individual form of life that is capable of growing and reproducing. Organism is made up of different organ systems that enable them to perform different functions necessary for living and survival. Can you name some example of organisms? You are example of an organism. You are made up of different organ systems working together. Other example of organisms are trees, animals, fungus, microorganisms such as bacteria and virus. A group of organisms of the same type living together makes the next level which is the population. A population is a group consisting of members of the same species that live together in a given area at the same time. Example of population of organisms belong to the same species are the following. A group of people in a barangay, a group of carabao, a group of goat and a group of mango trees in a farm. The species do not exist as an isolated population. Most population interact with other group of species. This form the next level which is the community. A community is the association of different populations of species living and interacting together at the same time and place. Take a look at this picture. This is an example of community. What are the different species that interacting together? We have humans, dogs, and trees. The next level is the ecosystem. The ecosystem is a community interacting with one another and their non-living environment. An ecosystem consists of all biotic or the living things in a particular place that depends on the abiotic or the non-living things like air, water, soil, and sunlight for survival. The next level which is the highest level on the organization of life is the biosphere. The term biosphere means all life on earth and all places where life exists. It is basically the sum of all ecosystem on earth. The biosphere is a space on or near the earth's surface that contains and supports living organisms in ecosystems. Biosphere is typically subdivided into lithosphere, atmosphere, and hydrosphere. Our planet is indeed composed of a variety of living things, ranging from a simple cell to a massive sphere of life forms. While each organism tends to vary in size and function, still no one lives alone and can live alone. Each organism somehow depends on or affects life of other organisms and non-living factors in the environment. Any change in part of one system can drastically increase or decrease the chance of survival of an organism. To summarize, biology is the branch of science which deals with the study of life of all organisms on Earth. The biological levels of organization are ranged in ascending order 
or from the lowest to the highest level include cell, tissues, organs, organ system, organism, population, community, ecosystem, and biosphere. And that's the end of our video lesson. On our next video, we are going to learn about the basic unit of life, which is the cell. To test your understanding of our lesson, please answer this short activity. You can check your answer at the end of this video. See you on our next video lesson.